so here we are. Today it is the 23rd of June and I have something for you guys. Let me show you. Boom! Software update. What is new? Performance of the camera has been improved. And this is indeed the very famous right now 3rd June update. It is the AUF6 or the AUF9. You can see it's 300 megabyte. It is guys the third update in a row coming for our devices, the S21 Plus in this case for June. So there is this guy from the Samsung community and he's saying third time lucky for a full roll out for the June update for Global Exynos S21 series. And it looks like Samsung now pulled the two previous June releases. So the AUE8 and the AUF2 now are gone and we're getting the AUF6, right? So for those like myself, right? Still not getting the AU8. You're gonna get guys directed the AU F6, hopefully. But it gets even more interesting. This latest update is the 13 for the Global Exynos S21 phones, right? So we have 13 updates already. And there is something I want to show you guys, okay? This is very, very interesting. 13 stable update for just 143 days. And this guy calculated that this means that we're getting one update every 11 days. And I think this deserves yeah correctly this deserves some nice clapping and respect for samsung so every 11 days new update 13 updates for almost 143 days which is kind of crazy and without any further review i'm gonna hit now the install button install this latest june update the third one in a row we're gonna be do the testing that i usually do i'm gonna go into my recent applications I'm gonna open and close the camera see and experience you know the shutter lock see and experience the application animation lock I'm also gonna do some Geekbench testing and just see the overall performance. And this time, guys, I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna wipe the cache from the recovery and also optimize all of my apps with the Galaxy Lab 600 applications. And only then will I start with my testing to make sure that we are doing really the way it should be. Once the phone powered off, make sure to connect your phone to a PC, right, or a laptop, okay? Now just hold volume up and the power button Try to not break the phone, okay? Don't release yet. Okay, right now we are into the Samsung S10 Plus recovery. Now use your volume rocker to navigate. Go down here, okay? To wipe cache partition. Very important, guys. There is something called wipe data factory that don't do this, right? Because you get the point. When you wipe your data, um, yeah, you're everything is gone right into oblivion so just go here wipe cache partition and now press the power button as the enter boom one more time okay do you want to delete the cache scroll down to yes press power and now cache is gonna be deleted okay cache wipe completed now what we can do guys we can go here and choose reboot system now which is the first setting boom Okay, you may as well disconnect the phone, you don't need a laptop anymore, okay? But you need this cable connection to go into the recovery, don't ask me why. So we are going to boot right now into the latest AUF6 from, I'm gonna optimize all my applications, almost 700 applications with the Galaxy Labs, and then I'm gonna be resuming my testing. Okay, starting my phone, cache gone, Galaxy App Booster, checking device, 600, 87 applications. I challenge you if you have more please send me a screenshot then I'll like your post <laughs> Optimize applications. All right, we have to wait a bit. So I'm gonna speed up the video guys everything recorded and then only then after deleting the cache and Optimizing all applications. We're gonna be doing the testing This guy is a serious and long protest, so I'm just going to put a stopwatch here so we can see in real time. That's no joke, right? If you have almost like 700 apps, you might need to wait a bit, right? And then your phone will also hit a bit, right? But I'll let the phone recover, right? And then we're gonna be doing all the testing because we do it for the science. And I do it because you don't have to. But of course, that's a joke. If you have, of course, the AUF6, then go download it immediately. That should be the best right now for the S21.
Alright guys, you can see it takes more than 20 minutes because I started this late so it will take probably about half an hour if you have so much application like in my case. Now what we can see on the screen, my apps have been optimized and in the meantime I also started here the CPU monitor so you can see that the phone is really running hot, I have 45 degree. By the way, I have my air condition turned on so 25C is the ambient temperature and I have also this monitor which actually shows that the ambient temperature is 25 or 8. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to leave this phone cool down for one hour because I want the phone to recover after all the updates and all the apps optimization. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just leave it for one hour, right? And then we'll resume the video. So right now we have 1508. A few moments later. All right, we are now back guys. You can see phone rested for 30 minutes, 30 Celsius, 28 Celsius, right? The ambient temperature, as you can see, is 24.8. So I think we've been doing some nice job in terms of cooling. First thing we're gonna be checking, of course, is what about the reasons menu? Where are we in terms of animation, in terms of stuttering and luck? So without any further ado, let's start the real testing. All right, okay. Not so bad from what I see right now, okay. Yeah, let's open some applications, Play Store, repeatedly. All right, let's open Galaxy Store. Okay, wow. That looks quite okay, guys. I think I'm impressed. Internet, Samsung Internet. Okay. Yeah. I have quite too much applications, but it works quite all right, I would say. Okay, let's try to kill that one. Okay, let's open Chrome. Yeah. Animation wise, I don't think I can complain. Let's try to open Mixcloud, okay. Okay, yep. Let's open Spotify. All right, we can now see the first load. And by the way, I have opened a lot of applications, okay. So, let's also do some camera opening. This is very, very important, guys. Let's open the camera and try to close it. A lot of people are saying that the camera applications run on 60 Hertz, while to the phone usually is using the adaptive mode, which runs on 120. And if I show you guys into the display here, you can see that I have a motion smoothness. We are using up to 120. And they say this stuttering comes from this. But honestly, I don't care too much. I just want it to work flawlessly. So I'll just open the camera, all right? Opening the camera for the first time. Okay, closing opening all right now you see because my phone is laying down with the back it automatically turns on the night mode if i try to cut off or turn off the scene optimizer probably it's gonna get a bit quicker all right yeah all right good that's a bit better compared to what it used to be guys let's go into the modes okay portrait night mode panorama night portrait photo video more okay that's, that's not bad. Let's also try to check the camera version. Okay, application info, scroll down. Wow, 11.0.0.3.10. The latest two updates were using 0.2, I think. So this is indeed a new camera version. I have to say I'm impressed. Opening and closing the camera is a bit smoother compared to what used to be. I'm gonna put this in optimizer back and I'm gonna open the camera, close the camera, right? I think it is definitely smoother. Now the next thing I wanna do is testing the shutter lag. Oh! Wow, okay, I think it's, it is indeed, it is indeed better guys. I think it is indeed better and definitely quicker. Let me just try to do it also here. I'm gonna open the camera once more, close it, open it again, close it, not bad at all guys. I don't think that's bad. Right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit close all the application and I'm gonna open Geekbench so that we can see what kind of score are we gonna get. The phone again is right now cooled off, so yeah, we cannot say that the phone is heated. So I'm gonna run the CPU benchmark, see the result at the end. Alright, this is a bit disappointing guys, this was the result that I got with the previous 2nd June update which was already lower from the May update I've been using. Interestingly enough, you can see that I have a lower score on the single core score 597 versus 614, but I have a massive boost into the multi-core score 2851, as to with the 2nd June update it was 1711. 
This was my achievement with the May update, so 875 on the single core score and 2694 on the multi score. Right now, a bit higher multi core score and 597 on the single core score. I'm gonna also run an other benchmark to just see the score I'm gonna get, and my phone is really not known for having the best results in Antutu. The last test that I did was 705242. Let's test again. And here we are, 640,000, yeah, you can see it's a bit worse than it used to be, but okay, at least we see that the phone, we were trying to maintain temperature, probably also throttling, yeah, let's see, it is what it is, it's still not a bad score, and again, we don't really need to trust all these benchmarks now, while I have the phone in my hand, and after putting the anti I can see that it has like 42 degrees, I still want to see how it's going to behave, and honestly, from what I see, it is not so bad at all. I'm going to close all the applications, trying to force open them again. All right, so let's go here. Let's open my files. Samsung held. Okay, let's open here the Mixcloud. All right, let's open here also. All right, Telegram. Okay, let's open Internet. Oops, let's let's open. Okay, this was a stutter, guys. I don't think this was a mistake. Let's open the camera right now. So camera opening, closing, camera opening. All right, closing, camera opening. Okay, a bit faster. When you turn the AI processing, let's see, probably gonna get even a bit faster. All right, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Now, let me just try to do again, snap some pictures. I think that the shutter lock definitely have improved. Now you're able to do quicker repetitive actions here. See, this was not the case before. Overall performance of the phone has been improved. I don't see that many locks and micro stutter, and I just think this is really a great update. So guys, I really hope that you have liked this video. When you install it, wipe your cache if you want to do so from the recovery menu. Also use the Galaxy Labs to optimize all of your applications and please share your feedback in the comments down below or join the Telegram channel. Please you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of our next videos. VST over and bye.